nigga poppin' with a pocket full of cottage. Yeah. Whoa, chemo, stop it, chop up, aim it, get your like it. What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over my fully duped, fully max everything Hashi Rama. Now, if you guys didn't watch my video yesterday, yes, I did pull everything for him. Um, I got his, I got his Jutsu, I got, I got everything. I got all his Jutsu, his ultimate, all of that. Now, I also put some cards and stuff on him, so he, he's now 125,000. Um... I got him some ninja tools. Uh, I maxed out his abilities. Um, one thing, uh, Atachi has 56 abilities. Hashirama has 43, and everybody else. Okay, so see 56. That must be an update that came out for like older characters, I guess. I don't know, but anyways. Uh, yeah, so Hashirama is 125,000 B rank. Uh, max everything. Uh, let me guys, let me tell you guys, he is insane. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and take him out on a couple of missions and stuff like that. Do a couple of different mission or things and everything, cause um, I do need to do the brand new Squad Seven Reborn mission, which this is a multiplayer mission. So yeah, I need to start doing ranked more or w attack mission. You don't call it ranked. I need to do attack missions more. Um, I'm so low because I never do them. But, like, if I wanted to climb, I could. Which I think I want to. Or start, anyways. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use Hashirama. Hashirama is actually insane. Like, he just... He literally heals his himself nonstop. His Wood Dragon does insane damage. Especially, I have it level 6. I, or level 7. I have Wood Dragon level 7. So, yeah. Uh, um, then he gets, um, he can buff himself with his, uh, third ability. He's just, uh, really good. He is really good. I cannot wait for Madara to come out. I'm gonna also max Madara when he comes out, so. Let's go ahead and put this down. Start healing myself. Now, obviously, you won't get to see, like, that much of Hashirama in this one. Because, uh... What's it called, right? It's just a regular mission. But I'll do some other stuff too. Don't don't worry about that. Go ahead and put this down again. Oh no, nah, this man just altered them. Oh, that's it? Wow. So yeah, you, you ain't get to see much. You ain't get to see his altar, nothing like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get into some other stuff too, right? Tashirama is super insane, bro. All right, so now that we got that out the way, oh no, we're done with all this. Um, we can go ahead and do some attack missions, right? And I fixed up my base. To, my base looks like different now, so we can go ahead and do this one. It doesn't matter. Uh, I fixed up my base now, and my base is actually pretty tight. I tried to fight my base, and we'll, we'll do it after this one. I tried to fight my base and almost lost. Like, Hashirama was cooking. Now, obviously, if I use my ultimate jutsus and stuff like that on him, I could kill him. But, like, if we're talking just auto wing or, like, you know, maybe using jutsus and stuff, Hashirama, like, is really good. And most people auto. Most people, whenever they do these, they, they auto, too. So, which I need to get into a habit of not doing. Here, let me buff my team. Let me heal myself. Make sure I get some of that healing. Yeah, so I constantly heal when I put that on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I like how, I like that his wood dragon is long range too. That's that's really good. That's long range. I can snipe people from a pretty far distance. Mm 
I can't even see him, but oh, let's put the debuff back on. Hashirami, you gonna move? Oh, you're trying to get to him. Okay. All right, bro. Yeah, after we do this one, we'll go ahead and I'll show you my base, and then we'll do my base and how, how I set it up. See, whoever's base this is, they didn't set their base up to stop me from getting to the end, which I just did. He take Hashirama takes practically no damage, dude. Hashirama takes like no damage. So there's that one, and then we'll go ahead and go to mine. Now, if Hashirama is this good, bro, like, I really cannot wait until, um, I can't wait until mine. Like, I, mine, until Modder gets here. So, this is the base I, I've made, set, set up, like, you know what I'm saying, it has the tornado traps and everything like that. Um, I got all these losses before this base, by the way. Don't think I've had this, I literally made it last night. And... Two people attacked me, and I won both of them. It was 96, 95, and now it's 98, 95. So we're going to go ahead and test play. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me show you guys where I got everybody. All right, so um, everybody here is weak, except for Hashirama and Atachi. Now, I put a whole bunch of AoE and just, just decent units there. But anyways, if they come over here, Atachi's going to slap them through this wall and then if you come here and you got a 1v1 Hashirama, it's going to be bad because he has these camouflages and he's just going to keep healing himself. So, uh, yeah, this is the team I'm taking. We're going to go ahead and get into it. And I have, I have Tsunade there because she has healing. She does the same amount of healing as Shizune. And um, she's just higher power level. So, see, look, Tornado Trap already boot me out the way. Boot me again. Oh, and y'all already know I had to put Cloud. I already had y'all know I had to put Cloud Ninja in my village, or in my what's it called? Right. So like this is literally made just to waste time. See, look, you get Jutsu sealed. You come into here. And see, like you're you're Jutsu sealed the whole time. And it's like, yeah, if I use ult, I'll kill him. Will I actually? Okay, yeah, yeah. So if I use all, I'll kill him. Boom, that's fine. But everybody else on my team is dead except for Itachi. Which, boom, tornadoed again. Look, Jutsu Seal. Guard starts hitting you with a whole bunch of sand. Now, Guard's a lower level. I need to get his uh his jutsus and stuff higher. Look, jutsu seal locked in place. Atachi starts throwing stuff at you. Like, my base is actually insane. Like, literally, if I if my units, if, if Hashirama wasn't as tanky as he was, because he's really tanky. And if my units weren't as high level, like Atachi's 100 k right? And he's almost dead. My Hashirama's 125k. And he's just getting slapped around for most of this. I'm literally like, I, I I worked really hard on this base. I'm I'm very proud of it too. Look, like it literally, <laughs> it's literally just made to waste time. Like, look at this. 
The base is literally made to waste time. So I finally get here. And like I said, I'm still working on uh, getting their stuff up. I was about to say, why can't I do anything? Yeah, I'm still working on getting their uh, jutsus and everything up. So it's a work in progress as far as the characters. But once I get their uh, power levels up, this base, this base is going to be actually, like, retarded. So, yeah. That was, like, a lot of time getting through that base. And, um, like I said, so far, I'm 2-0 with this base. So, uh, I'm going to just keep trying to uh, work on my characters and see how far I can go. But, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, that's going to be it for the Hashirama Showcase slash New Fortress Showcase. Uh, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.